Algebra 1 Study Guide Properties of Exponents and Exponential Functions. Let's look at problems 1, 2, and 3. So you need to simplify the following problems using only positive exponents. So meaning your answers will have positive exponents in them and then you're going to use the properties of exponents to simplify them. So if you look at number 1, you have x to the 9th divided by x to the 6th. So you can use the quotient rule. Since your bases are the same, they both are x, you can take and subtract the exponents. Take the larger exponent minus the smaller exponent. Wherever the larger exponent started, either numerator or denominator, that's where your term will end up. So x to the third is in the denominator. All we have, or sorry, the numerator. All we have in the denominator is one, and so we don't have to write that. On number two, you're taking two x cubed y squared to the third power. So we're going to raise each of these to the third power. Remember, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So technically, this is two to the first power. So one times three, I'm multiplying. Um, the powers is 3. And then it'll be times x to the, and then 3 times 3, which is 9. And then finally, y to the 2 times 3, which is 6. So 2 cubed is 8, x to the 9th, y to the 6th. All right, in the last problem, notice we have x to various powers, and we're multiplying these same bases. When you do that, you can add the exponents. So we'll take 7 and we'll add a negative 2, which is like subtracting 2, and then add the 1. So 7 minus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So simplified, this is x to the 6th power.